Good morning, folks. The sun goes utterly silent while the earth begins to shake. We've got two interesting articles today, and the weather stories continue as well. Plasma suspended by magnetic forces in blatant defiance of the gravity of our star. This one will crest onto the disk over the weekend if it holds on like the mega backward C-shaped filament that stayed calm all across the earth-facing disk and now begins to depart at the western limb. Anyone want to bet he lets loose as soon as he gets away from earth? Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we again see our calm sun with just a few coronal holes on the disk. Not really any major surface surging or pops even at the limbs. The essence of the earth facing quiet is the lack of solar flaring. Total lack of flashes in 131 angstroms. All geomagnetic activity has come from coronal holes lately, and those are not what we are talking about. The X-ray flux and corresponding CME production can't muster a thing our way lonely little bugger there. Solar wind density in orange showing some higher readings but it's actually just slower bunched up particles as speed dies down in yellow. Geomagnetic activity is low indeed. The drop in particle speed heralds an interaction region and possibly a sector as solar wind from these dark coronal holes is up next and it is of the negative polarity. The SPF likely peaked there earlier this month but it's still stronger than on the north and we got our first six pointer in days in Japan to complement those volcanic eruptions, outgoing long-wave radiation anomalies suggest we had a modest to above average gradient in that zone, and looking on that latitude, we see another gradient heading for the Americas there. Top stories today, folks. If you are into astrology, and I don't mean the playtime fun and cheap magazines that gives the entire field a bad name, I mean real astrology. This is a very serious man over at Vanderbilt, and he's taking the topic quite seriously in light of exoplanet discoveries. The importance of position over distance was mentioned quickly, and that's a good sign for the quality of the paper. We also have this, an incredible colorized view of a star with planets forming around it. Near the periphery, there's a significant amount of water ice detected. Always fun to find star water shells like that. Anyway, back to the weather where tornadoes indeed came down again in the United States. Oklahoma-style twisters went eastward and it may not be done tonight. Even as the earth spot rushes out delivering frigid cold temperatures to the Midwest, the convergence line running down the eastern side of the low is still cresting Georgia and Florida today, so eyes on your forecast. We'll get your planetary geometry for April out a bit later today. First quarter of 2016 down, we had 12 hours of podcast, 27 deeper look episodes. Catch us if you can. We've got more pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Hey!